Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the Riverbend Ag in the Classroom Coordinator here in Scott County. And today we are going to be learning about seed germination. What is seed germination? Seed germination is the process of a plant emerging from a seed and beginning to grow. So it's seed growth of a plant. And the germination happens inside the seed. So we're going to be uh, reading a fun book called The Kernel to Corn, and then we're gonna have a fun activity of making earth bracelets. So let's get started by reading our book. From Kernel to Corn by Robin Nelson. Corn tastes yummy. How does it grow? A farmer prepares for planting. A farmer drives over a field with a cultivator. This machine has many blades that turn over the dirt. The, bl the blades break up clumps of dirt. Now the field is ready for planting. The farmer plants seeds. A corn seed is called a kernel. The farmer uses a row planter to plant kernels. A row planter is a machine that digs ditches in the field. The row planter puts the kernels in the ditches and covers them with dirt. The seeds change. The water helps seeds grow into plants. The kernels soak up water from the dirt. The kernels swell. A root breaks open from each kernel. Roots grow down into the ground. They take in water and food from the dirt. Tiny plants grow. Sprouts come out of the kernels. A sprout is a young corn plant. It grows up out of the dirt. Sunlight and water help the sprout grow. Corn plants grow tall. Corn grows tall very fast. A stalk is the stem of the corn plant. A stalk can grow five inches or 13 centimeters in just one day. It takes a girl or a boy two years to grow that much. The farmer protects the plants. Hungry bugs may eat the corn. Bugs can also give the corn diseases. Weeds may take up the corn space. Weeds block out the sun too. Some farmers spray their crops to kill the weeds and the bugs. Cobs grow. Cobs grow on the corn stalks. Kernels grow on the cobs. Cobs with kernels are called ears of corn. Leaves cover each ear to protect it. These leaves are called husks. The corn is picked. Some farmers use a machine to pick the corn. Some farmers pick the corn by hand. This worker loads picked corn on a truck. The corn is sold. Many people buy fresh corn from a farmer's market or a grocery store. They take the corn home, take the off the husk, and cook it. Eat the corn. Corn on the cob tastes good with butter, salt, and pepper. It tastes good all by itself. the end. After reading Kernel to Corn, we understand the process of how a seed forms and grows and germinates into the soil. So uh, we talked mostly about sweet corn in this book and I just want to clarify that sweet corn is only the 2% of corn that is grown in Iowa. That is the corn that we eat right off the cob. It is not our field corn. 98% of the corn that we grow here in Iowa is field corn and this is the sample that I have of field corn and you can see that the kernels are very hard and they're not going to be uh, nice and chewy and sweet just like our sweet corn is. So this is the corn that we're talking about today. Now for activity you're going to need a pipe cleaner and then you're going to need uh, five different kinds of seeds or of beads for our activity. So 
So to begin, we are gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're going to think to ourselves, what does a seed need to grow? What do we put it first? And just to give you a hint, our uh, bead is brown. So what, should, what does the brown bead represent? If you guessed soil, you are correct. Our seed needs soil to germinate. So we're gonna put our um, brown bead on first. Up next, so now that our seed is in the uh, soil or dirt, we need something else, something that is blue. Any guesses? We need water. So we need to water our um, seed. So we're going to place our blue bead on next, just like this. So now we have our soil and now water. And then it also needs something else that to help the seed grow. And it's something yellow. What could that be? Sunlight. We need sunlight for our crops to grow. So now I'm gonna place my yellow bead onto my pipe cleaner. So now I have three beads, just like this. And then we need something else that's really important. We have our soil, we have the water, and we have sunlight, but we need one other thing. And to give you a hint, it's something that we all breathe in. What would that be? It's clear, but I have a white bead to represent it. It's air or oxygen. We need oxygen to survive ourselves, but so do plants and our seeds to germinate. So I'm gonna add my white bead next to the sunlight bead. And now I have the full, um, all my beads that I need for my seed to germinate. I have the soil, the water, sunlight, and air. So to complete that, I'm gonna add my green bead. So that represents um, my plant. So this is the final product for our, our earth bracelet. Now to fold it up to make it the bracelet, you're going to cross it over and make two um, like bunny ears like this. And you're gonna twist it three times. So ready? One, two, three. Perfect, so now it should be nice and tight. And you're going to wrap the extra ear, bunny ears around the middle of your bracelet. So then they simply go away and you have a nice little knot right there. And now you have completed your earth bracelet. I hope you guys enjoy this activity and learn something about germination and how our seeds need these components to grow. Have a good day.